Good evening. Good evening, How are you? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everybody doing? Fine, fine, fine. Great. How was the holiday? Fine. <laughs> uh, like always, busy, busy. Busy, busy. <laughs> <laughs> so you follow the traditions or rest nah. there? Nothing. No, making homework for my uh, my daughter. <laughs> A busy father. Yeah, like always. <laughs> <laughs> but they already finished school. Uh no. They haven't. No, they haven't. They have oh. like, she will be a few days in December, but uh, mm, she's still summer. she's still no. Really? So they have different system? Yep. Like the American system? Yep. Ah, okay. But then they have a, a let's say, summer break. Yeah, they have a summer break and mm. have a week in October and two or three weeks in December. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. In the meantime, doing assignments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know life is busy. Making making a project. Hold it. A project uh, from the German Parliament. Oh my god! <laughs> in in in, in treaty. <laughs> These teachers are really demanding. Yeah, because in this in this time we hope may or we should make a, a a presentation with all graphics and no the he he said I want to touch your work. <laughs> and at the end is the parents' work. <laughs> all, right, yeah. um, all right. And what grade is she in? Uh, nine. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of work, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the students at the foundation are also <laughs> really tired. They say, ah, no more homework. <laughs> and the other ones are stressed because of the avanzo. Sí. Uh, they have a lot of certifications, a lot of exams, and the others are taking entrance exams at the university as well. A lot, a lot of exams. So they are really stressed out and they don't want to receive classes anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> they say, no, give us a break. A, a, say, oh, a sabbatic year. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah. I know. I have a life. True. I want to have a life. Yeah. Hey, good evening, good evening. I see Catherine says good evening on the chat and the others. Say hello, say how you feel. Say how was your day, how was your holiday? I hope everybody is doing all right. <laughs> okay. Everyone. Okay. Yeah, I see somebody else say hello. Nice to see you again. Hi, Isabel. Nice to see you too. Okay. Great. Let's see who else, who else, who else? Welcome, actually, yes. It's Thursday, but it felt like it was Monday. <laughs> all the traffic, all the crazy people on the street. It was really, really weird and different. But from now on till the rest of the year, I believe it's going to be the same. It's going to be really hectic. Lots of, lots of people, lots of, you know, cars going, coming. All right, Hector. Yes, it's great to see you again, too. How was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How my day is... Is... Well, so so. Okay. It's like every day. <laughs> <laughs> Lots but of activities. It is, it is good. Well, uh, it's good. Nice days. 
no no rain no no True. hot yeah, good weather cool. cool weather yeah, it's good and it was the supposed to rain blue, right sky. yeah mm -hmm. the, it was a beautiful sunset beautiful, actually beautiful day. yeah i yep. saw it we yep. finished we finished actually today very late because there was a meeting about 5 p.m so <laughs> so when i finished i run and i saw that it was beautiful sunset and some people taking photos but it was cool yep. mm -hmm. beautiful day yeah mm -hmm. actually today i went to santa tecla really <laughs> yes ah close to my work i know my office yeah, I went to Santa Tecla. There was uh, this uh, Feria de Loros, the achievement fairs in Fundación Puma. Really? So, yes. I took four um, of my students with me and we went to the event. It was great, actually. At least we did something different. But the traffic to get to Santa Tecla. A pain. <laughs> it's a real pain. In the new, ¿cómo se dice paso de nivel? In the new bridge. Um, bridge? Yeah. In the new bridge, a lot of traffic. In the Utila, Utila Bridge. Yeah, a lot well, of yeah. Our driver went all the way, like if he was going to Los Chorros and then he came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the way there. Right. I know. Right. But there was no choice. There was no choice. Like going through the. Um, La Ceiba, impossible. Mm -hmm. So you, went you all don't... the way there through uh, Monseñor Romero, on almost mm -hmm. Los Chorros. <laughs> no, all, all choices you you collect. Uh, yeah, full. You don't know what is worth. Right? Yeah, true. <laughs> true, true, true. OK. But it was different, and we enjoyed it. The kids were like really impressed because of the facilities, the new place they visited. Uh, since the pandemic, they haven't attended this type of event, so they really enjoyed it. All right. Okay, Catherine is driving. Be careful, Catherine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, it's terrible, terrible, terrible. All right. Well, traditions, nobody did the traditions for the the date of the death yesterday nobody went to the cemetery nobody took flowers all right yeah i know some people do some other people don't it just that's okay but i saw the videos in mexico it's a huge celebration yes it's really really big all right some more messages no more great i see nori i see mayra welcome Adriana, by the way, welcome back. Hi, teacher. I'm sick. Still sick? Yes. Oh, my God. Have yeah. you been to the hospital? On this Saturday? Oh, it's terrible. I terrible. Oh, yeah, you don't sound very no, well. No, no, no. And you've been going to work? Uh, some days, yes. Oh my God, be careful. Yeah. Yeah, when you get sick, like mm -hmm. the way you sound right now, you better rest. That's the only way you yeah. can recover. Yes. Well, actually, many of my students were really sick last week that they even have the medical prescription of resting for five days. And the then. Say it has viral. It's viral. Yes. Yeah, and then my boss, my boss came on Monday and he was terrible. So he didn't come on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday until today. He came and he was with all the power. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> it was that we had even had a meeting at 5 p.m. And I was like, ah, I want to leave. <laughs> Can we talk about this tomorrow? But no, we had to stay. <laughs> All right, so it's time to have the attendance. Well, I hope you feel better. Get some tea, Adriana. Drink yeah, hot thank tea. You. Yeah. Let's have the attendance. All right, Adriana. Present. Uh -huh. Carlos, not yet, right? Present, teacher. Oh, you are here. I didn't see your name. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. It's still fine. alive. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> still alive. <laughs> okay. That's good. All right. right. That's all right. No worries. Drink some coffee. Get some energy. I had some coffee myself today because I need it. All right, Christina. Not yet. Oh, God. Elsie. Not yet. Fatima? Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Ferman? Not yet. Hector? Present teacher. Isabel? Present. Catherine? Driving? Present teacher. <laughs> Careful. Lucy? Mayra? Present. Hi. Nuri? Present, yeah. All right. Roberto. Nayet, Roberto. Samuel. Hi. Vitelia. Present teacher. Hello, welcome. Walter. Wendy. Irma. I am here, teacher. Hello, hello. How are hey, you? Hey, Wendy. Yes. Welcome. All right. What day is today? Teacher. Yes. I am here. <laughs> hey. Hi, what teacher. What happened? I am blue. 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 Why blue? <laughs> Why blue is color? <laughs> <laughs> National color. <laughs> but why are you blue? <laughs> blue and white is a flag color. <laughs> but that's white. But I'm asking you, why are you blue? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, welcome. So what's the date of today? Mm -hmm. What today day? Is, today is Thursday, 3rd November, November yeah, that's 2022. Right. That's right, today is Thursday, November 3rd or the 3rd of November, we can say that way as well. And that's 2022. Yes, and the class is 13. This is our session number 13. And of course, we are going to talk about service. Okay. <laughs> like the survey that you have at the end of the course? Similar. Okay. What are the services used for? Well, in most of the situations, we use service to evaluate, to assess, to say what I think about the process, the procedures of how things have been done, right? How things, I mean, the perspective that you have or the satisfaction that you have about something, right? Of course, the topic in this case, you know, in the manual, it's been approached from the perspective of a restaurant, right? How you evaluate the service or the process. Actually, I have seen that um, now the, at least the fast food restaurants, I don't know if the other restaurants, like fancy restaurants, they also have a survey, an online survey, right? That they give you the link and you can grade the service, products, the attention, right? So the facilities as well. So this is what the purpose of getting a survey is. And of course, we're going to apply this use of the surveys to the topic that we have been studying. By the way, we've been studying this unit for so long. <laughs> okay, so that's the way it is said on the manual. So that's the way we have to do it, right? So what's your experience about taking surveys? 
For example, when you go to a fried chicken restaurant and they say, if you do the survey, if you complete the survey, right, I'm going to give you, or they say, oh, you're going to have a 20% discount on the next banquet that you buy, or you're going to have a discount on a dessert, or you're going to have a free coffee, right? So they usually try to incentivize, you know, the customer to do the evaluation because that's how they have some feedback, right? How they are doing their work or what they have to improve, okay? So what is your idea or what's your experience about completing the service in a restaurant? Have you had that? Have you had that experience? Have you ever done that? Have you completed this service at a restaurant? Any volunteer who wants to participate and let me know if you have done, if you have seen, if you have had the experience, or did you just say, ah, I'm not great in this. I, I'm just leaving. I just had lunch or that was what I needed. Whatever the service, whatever the product was, it's okay, I don't care. So what's your experience? Have you ever received this request of completing a survey? You know, sometimes they are online. Sometimes you have the link on the ticket so that you can access to an online survey to complete, to evaluate, right? Maybe in this case, it's not really evaluating the process, but evaluating the service, right? So have you done this? Have you ever had this experience? Do you do it? Do you remember the questions? Or if you have to give Teacher, four stars, yes. In my case, uh, you know, feel, feel, feel down. Uh -huh. I feel. have feel. Uh, I I feel sorry, but it's just a story. Oh Not really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, for. Till the survey, I res I I have received a discount. A discount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good incentive. or twenty percent. That's great. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna start with this with this strategy. I'm gonna start giving discounts if you participate. Ah. Yeah. Eh, Was a propaganda in ad hoc. <laughs> I have two discounts. <laughs> I have 25% 20, discounts, coupons every mm. month. 20, 20, I think 20%. Yeah, we have 25. Sometimes we have 40. What, what? We have 25 every month, three coupons of 25% discounts. And, and, and I mean, we can transfer them. We don't necessarily ah. have to, yeah, we don't necessarily have to spend we can give it to some yeah in case you need to just let me know <laughs> in, in my case the, the discount was for second a second pair of shoes pair of shoes for example t-shirt to your students mm -hmm. you can transfer for your son yeah i have done it <laughs> i have done it i know i know yeah. you are done I have done it, but the the best the best discount is when they give us the forty or the fifty percent. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's a great good percent one. of discount. Yeah. yeah, but that one is not possible to be transferred. <laughs> yeah, just at twenty five <laughs> because they say ah you have to show the ID so that you <clears throat> that you're buying shoes for yourself <laughs> for work they say <laughs> hey so they say hi. Working. Mm. <laughs> she looks like. <laughs> All right, pretty busy. Okay, nice. But now you see the stores, the business, they do have this type of evaluation because they are interested in knowing the perspective. You know, they are interested in knowing the customer's opinion, because they want to see what they think they are doing well, but probably what they have to improve, right? So that is the idea, okay?
And at the restaurants, I don't remember. Probably I have done it a couple of times, but they only ask like, yes or no. It's like a checklist, I guess. Yes or no, like what's the, for example, I think it was, was the table clean? Yes or no, yes. Uh, was the service fast enough? Yes or no? Yes, I think it was just like a checklist in the survey, right? And you also receive a discount for a dessert or for a cup of coffee. So it's also good. I think I'm going to do it next time. Yeah, I think I've done it for a hamburger restaurant once. And then I got an ice cream cone or something like that. The next time I went, of course. All right. They give you like a, a number or a coupon or something. All right. Okay. So we're going to get to continue talking about this topic, which is very, very interesting. Because it's a way of rating and evaluating the service. Let me just spit this a little bit. All right. Okay, this is the topic we just covered last class. And now we are starting with this one, right? So design the basic checklist to evaluate a procedure. As I told you, the evaluation, it's based on a restaurant service, right? So of course you can evaluate any other any other business, any other service, but that unit focuses on restaurant procedures, right? So with the first exercise we're going to discuss to talk, is there a quality department in your workplace? Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Okay, <laughs> well, we can give a, a classic example here at Insaform. They evaluate at the end the process, the procedures, right, the methodology. So at the end, you have a survey, the very last class. So they say, is there a quality department in your workplace? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. How do they evaluate the procedures? How do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Have you... Have you checked? Have you found out? Do you know anything about the procedures, how they are evaluated in your work? Any idea? Or they don't evaluate, you are not evaluated. Yes. Teacher, <laughs> uh, uh, si hay algún departamento de calidad, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, uh, in my job, uh, not. Mm -hmm. eh, como tal <ríe> eh, the global structure de the, the company yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, uh, is there a um, uh, quality de, de, de department, department. Mm -hmm. yeah y eh, es el encargado de medir como se dice to measure, measure to evaluate measure, the measure uh, the employees uh, the the uh, procedures in general Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is more global. That means that all the countries where the company is located. Uh, it's global. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Okay, somebody else? How do they monitor the procedures at work? In is my there... case, yes. In my case, um... There is the quality department. Mm -hmm. uh, they see, for example, the rules mm -hmm. ISO 9002, uh, OSHA, mm -hmm. S types things. Yeah, so they have all these uh, qualifications. Yes, um, uh, procedures, procedures. Procedures as well. Yeah, I, ha I, have, I have been reading about this as well. So these are international right, standards of quality. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do they call it the, when they usually go and evaluate like everything you do and they check like even the last minimum paper to see if everything is in order? Yes, the yeah. audits, right? Uh, they uh, monitor 
Monitor. The other par departments. Yeah, like every uh, department. The uh, for example, uh, the, uh, uh, papeleo, I don't uh -huh. know. A lot of uh, files, paperwork. Files, mm -hmm. uh, all documents. Uh, all documents uh, on their procedures. Yes, and they have to be all completed with the dates, with the signatures, yes. and everything. I know. And if there is a, a, something observation, mm -hmm. Uh, se tiene be to you have to, uh -huh. you have to start immediately. <laughs> <laughs> immediately. It's true, 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 true. But they always have an observation. They always find something that they say, ah, this is <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, this lesson is definitely focused, as I told you, on restaurant procedures, right? So this is a checklist. Okay, it says complete the satisfaction survey using the words in the box. Okay, please indicate your level of agreement or disagreement with the following statement. If you see the following statements have a blank space, right? Uh, well, some of them actually. <laughs> well, just five of them. Yeah, the number five and the number six are complete. So you have one, two, three, four, five words here. So this vocabulary should be included in the sentences. Okay? You have seated, dishes, dining, taking, and server. We were and you have to find the word here promptly the was there to take our order quickly the server was friendly and patient when in our order our server coordinated the timing of the perfectly the server was able to answer all our questions overall the server was excellent considering everything our experience was a good value i strongly agree estar muy de acuerdo Okay. Oh, sorry. Muy en desacuerdo. So it's, it goes the opposite. It goes from one to four. I strongly disagree. Starting muy desacuerdo. Disagreeing. Agreeing and strongly agree. So it goes like from four. I mean, from one to four. So I'm usually <laughs> go from four to one, but this goes from one to four. Eso es como de izquierda a derecha. ¿Qué tanto está de acuerdo? Entre más no nos vamos a hacer la right. All right. So we strongly agree. So if you say number four, so it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Number three is like, agree. Number two, mm, disagree. And number one is like, mm, completely disagree. Strongly disagree. Yes. All right, so the task for you is to locate, to place the correct word in each of the sentences and then to check the survey, right? Of course, you can use this survey to evaluate a procedure at a restaurant. Maybe you can have, let's say, uh, an example of a time when okay try to think about think about the last time you went to a restaurant and try to evaluate using this survey y traten de usar este survey para evaluar esa vez. try to think about the last time you went to a restaurant so that you don't forget yes you don't forget the service at that time all right so if there's some vocabulary that you still don't get, you can just ask questions, all right? That's perfect. All right, I'm going to let you work with somebody so that you can complete the sentences and then we can share the information. Let me get some groups because it will be a lot faster and easier. Okay, here we go.
con, con un shop. Ay, sí, sí. <ríe> ya le va a ir pasando, pero ya está con antibiótico. Sí, pero sí, me ha dado fuerte esta vez. Con la lluvia. Cambio climático. I think, and yes, <ríe> extremely. Okay. Y Cristina estaba por ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Aquí estoy terminando ah. de llegar. Perdón que venía corriendo, pero... Ajá, ok. No problem. Ok. Vaya. First. The first sentence. We were... We were... Teacher. Can you let me share the screen, please? In a moment. Thank you, Shin. Y después de eso comenzamos mm -hmm. a ver si estamos de acuerdo o no estamos de acuerdo. Sí, exacto, que qué tan bueno es o Ajá. más o menos o, o, o desde el muy malo hasta el muy bueno. Ok, mm -hmm. eh, comencemos con la primera. We were promptly. Yo digo que ella es seated, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, pero quiero ver si puedo. We're seated. Si, no, si, si creen que es otro, nos avisan. No, yo pienso que sí. Bueno, para decirle. Ajá. Como tomar la orden. Uh -huh. Dice: The taking was, where, was there to take our order quickly. Oh, no. Después dice, vamos a otra. The server was friendly and patient when aquí es taking for order. Oh, entonces, te dice. Para mí sería taking. Espero. Friendly and patient. Uh -huh. when, when take, taking es el atrep, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. our order entonces dice la siguiente observer coordinate the timing of the oh the dishes, I think. Aha, uh -huh, no. the dishes. The dishes. Aha. Dejémosla así para mientras. ¿Qué significa friend, friendly? Friendly. Amigable. Friend. Friendly. Ah, okay. Friendly. Yes. Amigable. Friendly. 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 No. No hay no dices. Entonces allá tendría que ser of the the dining Aquí ahora estoy. en el, the number four es eh, es dishes entonces eh, in our dining es como la experiencia de la cena dining experience uh -huh. the num uh -huh. dining okay así uh, Mm. 
Así. I think. <laughs> ¿Qué dice Porque Victoria? Tiny experience es como la experiencia que tuvieron en su cena. Uh -huh. Was good. Was a good value. Hoy no le tocó clase, Vitalia. No, solo los martes lo voy a tener. Ah. Sí, solo los martes nos, nos van a impartir las clases. Voy a estar violenta los martes. Solo de, ajá, cabal, eso le va a decir. Ok, entonces, no sé, ¿les parece que, que así se, sería? We were city pro country. The server was there to take our, our order quickly. Mm -hmm. The server was friendly and patient. When well, well, taking our order, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and our service servers coordinate the timing of the dishes perfectly. Is this part passion? Passion, verdad? Yes. Passion. Mm -hmm. passion. Okay. The server was able to ans answer all our all questions. Good. Our question. Mm -hmm. Overall, the service was excellent, was excellent considering everything. Our dining experience was a good value. Mm -hmm. Vaya, comencemos con esto. We were sitting promptly. promptly. Hey, alguien que, que nos cuente una historia ahí para ver si. <ríe> ahí la. De servicio. In this case, when, when the, it's not uh, the, como, cuando, cuando la, no acaban de pagar, si sí es fácil que lo sienten rápido. <laughs> uh, after the, uh, before that the pay of month, <laughs> the restaurant are, este, em the server. Y quiero ver, la, entonces la primera tendría que ser de di, We were dishes strongly. De dishes. Pero. ¿Mm? Pero como esta ya la habíamos puesto. Ah, tienes razón. Ajá. Entonces tendría que ser, vaya. Ah, mm. oh, no, pues aquí no, pues no, decide. Ahí, para cambiarlo. Sí, sí. Ajá. Sí, de. Para mí, ¿qué es ese? Ahí está. Entonces, la otra. Ah, 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 ah. Dimos la tres. Era. Espérame, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Taking. Ajá, taking. Teacher. Yes. Y esto, digamos, vamos a decir nosotros un restaurante y en ese restaurante vamos a evaluar todos estos. Sí, la última experiencia que usted tuvo al ir a un restaurante. Ha ido a un restaurante, Héctor. Yo no he ido. <risa> No últimamente. A comer pupusas creo que sí. Ah, pues ahí. <risa> Pero no digan el name. <risa> Just to practice. Ok. Ok. Um, dice que nos estamos de... Bueno, fue, habíamos ido con... We finished, teacher. Ah, no, él sí, él sí entró. Y también Irma, ah, se sí. unió a nosotros. Hello, eh. Elsie, hello, Irma. 
Hello, Cristi, Carlos. Hola, Elsa. Adriana. Ah, Irma no la veo. Ah, sí, ya la veo. Hello. Hace ratito llegué. Ya ah, iban no, no. por la número 5. Música. Sí, la 1, la 2, la 3, la 4. Es que estaba sola, me habían dejado solita. ¿no? Ah, sí, ya me ha pasado. Entonces, a mí me también. rebotaron donde usted. Ajá. You can evaluate an experience when you went to a restaurant using this survey. Ok. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Eh. Number four. Is Henry? Agree. Agree. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, pues yo voy a poner este y aquí lo vamos a poner a Nuri. Pues sí, lo vamos a pintar de red. Y Isabel ya no nos participó ahí, que se nos hizo. Creo que está ahí como, tal vez ahorita de oyente. Haciendo. Okay. Eh, our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. Aquí. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Yes. I, I agree. Number four. Para mí. Number four. Okay. Or oh, several current. Ah, sí. I strongly agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So sometimes, Isabel. because sometimes the in the restaurant, they serve uh, the, the the first the the. ¿Cómo se dice las entradas? Se me olvidó el nombre. Es the start the starter. Creo the que. starter at the same time at the 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 el, 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 ¿Cómo se llama el el appetizer, plato principal? El otro, appetizer, creo que es el otro. La, la sí, pero the main. Main dish. Main dish. Ma uh -huh. Ah, plato principal. Uh -huh. Sometimes, Main. at the same time, <laughs> server the, 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 the starter and the, the, the main dishes. <laughs> yeah. but, but when uh, they serve uh, the timing, o sea, what is coordinated is, is strongly agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, y voy a ver. ¿Alguna experiencia en la semana? ¿En la semana? ¿On the weekend? Sí, on the weekend, en the restaurant. I, I satisfying with a, with a server in the Kentucky restaurant. Ok. Um, in the, the you server is, coordinating the timing. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's coordinating everything perfectly ok van tres yo me voy a ir hasta disagree porque se tardaron bastante en el caso mío así que me voy a quedar aquí va en el otro the server was able to answer our, our question uh, number number four strongly agree Strongly agree, okay. Nuri? Sometimes uh, agree because sometimes they don't know about some uh, issues in the menu. Okay, agree. Agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, Isabel? I agree. Agree, okay. Agree, agree. Okay. <clears throat> Overall, the service was excellent. Overall, the service Overall, was... overall es como todo. Uh -huh. Como en el, el conjunto en general. de todo. En general. Uh -huh. En general, el servicio fue excelente. Para agree. Mí, oh, strongly agree. Ok. <laughs> Le vamos a dar un 10. <laughs> <laughs> y usted, Nuri. Agree. In agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, Isabel. Agree. 
Vamos a ir aquí, pero la vamos a cambiar a red. Red. Mm -hmm. Consider everything. Our dining experience was a good value. Yes. Yes. Okay, aquí la vamos a dar aquí. Mm -hmm. ¿Y usted, Green. Nuri? Green. Sí, I strongly agree. Okay. Usually. Mm -hmm. uh, Isabel. Yo lo veo emocionado, así que la vamos a poner aquí. <risa> <risa> Estamos interpretando. Va. Si por caso pregunta. <risa> Vaya, de los cuatro. Aquí, esa nos hace falta preguntarle a él. De los cuatro, según nuestra experiencia de nosotros, dos dijeron que fueron strongly, strongly agree y uno dijo que era agree. De los otros, los, los tres en su experiencia estuvimos bien, ¿verdad? La otra súper bien y la otra aquí de acuerdo y muy de acuerdo. Solo en la coordinación de los... A ver. Um, San, San, San Tyson. Teacher, creo que terminamos. All right. Did you describe your experience? Sorry? Did you evaluate an experience? Yep. All right. Great. Yep. We're done. All right, finish, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see what you got. Okay, so the number one, we were? Seated. Seated. Okay, we were seated. We were seated promptly, right? Number two. The server was there. The server, right? The server, maybe the waiter, the waitress, right? The server was there to take our order quickly. Okay, number three, the server was friendly and patient when? Taking. When taking. Okay, when taking our order. Our server coordinated the timing of the? Dishes of the dishes perfectly. Mm -hmm. Then the server was able to answer all the questions, all our questions. Overall, the server was excellent and considering everything, our dining, our dining experience was a good value. All right. So I told you, <laughs> okay, to share an experience in which you use this survey to evaluate the process, right? Of course, the aspects, you know, that you have in the statements are regarding a service at a restaurant, right? So 
last time you went to a restaurant or that you had a service at a restaurant okay you strongly disagree you definitely give one right and disagree you give that rating or that rating of a restaurant two okay agree that's number three and you strongly agree that is number four all right let's see i'm gonna consider last time i went to a restaurant for breakfast it was a couple of weekends ago and since this place is very popular for breakfast on sunday if i say if we were seated promptly I strongly disagree <laughs> because the this this place is like really full of people and they even make a line outside the restaurant and people are waiting to be seated okay so i would say strongly disagree the server was there to take an order quickly mm. taking into consideration the amount of people probably uh disagree too the server was friendly and patient when taking our order i would say agree the server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly disagree we waited for about half an hour probably half to 40 minutes the server was able to answer all the questions i would say agree because we didn't ask any questions actually there are some things in which you don't need to ask questions because you already know the menu you already know what you want to eat overall the service was excellent well, i think excellent is too much <laughs> i would say i agree not strongly agree and considering everything our eating experience was a good value probably agree okay anybody wants to share his or her experience at a place to eat and to use this robbery or to use this survey to evaluate the service anyone volunteers Hi. All right, go ahead. Uh, yes, I, I have an experience about um, when we uh, went to the pupuseria. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, in the first statement, we mm -hmm. were seated promptly. I disagree with, like you, uh, like you said before, because we had to wait a uh, um, couple of minutes outside because mm -hmm. the place is very small and we have to wait that people uh, end to the eating and after that they had to wait for a table mm -hmm. uh, after that the server was there to take our order quickly um disagree because for 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 the same it was just, um we have to wait a lot of minutes mm -hmm. for the server Number three, the server was friendly and patient when taking our order. Um, agree. Yes, was was patient. All right. And friendly. And number four, our server coordinated the timing of the dishes perfectly. Um, yes, agree. And the server was able to answer our our, our question. Yes, agree because they answer our question mm -hmm. overall the survey was excellent um, um well agree. We agree i like the pupusa i like the pupusa we I have to wait it. yeah yes so. okay. and considering everything our dining spring was a good value um maybe in to a scale to measure for the survey was uh, to uh, the, fun, the, the one to 10, seven. Seven. 
Yeah, I can not be strongly agree. Yeah, maybe agree. Yes, maybe agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Good job. Somebody else? It's raining in San Salvador now. Somebody else? Teacher. Yes. In, in our group, mm -hmm. we think in uh, <clears throat> fast food, Mm -hmm. It's not a restaurant, but it's the difference close to close. Mm -hmm. And the first we were seated promptly mm -hmm. mm, and disagree because sometimes the 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 people como se llama la fila the line <laughs> the line very 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 uh, Long. large yeah. the server was there you take uh, do, or order quickly mm -hmm. and same the first disagree disagree because it, it take a lot of time for, for yeah you have to be calling right like yep. we're ready yep. we're ready and they're like it's, it's <laughs> <horrible>. <laughs> mm -hmm. number three the server was friendly and passion and passion when taking our order and number three agreed uh, mm -hmm. People is very, very sympathetic, como diría? Eh, kind, friendly. kind and friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, maybe because they they are very young and not have many problems with, uh, like like me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number four, our server coordinate uh, the timing uh, of the dish preferably. And number three, maybe uh, it's not not a problem. Mm -hmm. Number five, the server was able to answer our, our question. And number two, disagree because how I never we never see uh, the the people for make the question. Mm -hmm. uh, number six and number seven uh, for for me is number. Number two, disagree. The experience is mm, not good sometimes. Not so good. All right. Mm -hmm. And you did this in general. Oh, as a group in general about the fast food restaurants. Um, not good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's for, for, como diría para? <laughs> Maybe if, 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 the, if you have a question, uh, ¿cómo sería? Incorporar una, una pregunta, ¿cómo sería? If to add you another question. Add, add a question, uh -huh. uh, internet, Wi-Fi, uh, I agree because sometimes uh, the display is for for work or for or for a chat or I don't know. To spend but, time. Uh, Wi-Fi connection may, uh, uh, it's, it's good. <laughs> All right. Nice. Well, that could be another thing that could be evaluated. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can add this. The internet connection was good. Agree? Disagree? <laughs> okay. Nice. Someone else? One more? Escriban en el chat quién quiere que participe. El que tenga más votos. <laughs> Let's see the name of that person on the chat. The teacher. I already participated. <laughs> I gave you an example. Uh huh. Someone else? No more. Okay. Me, okay. teacher. Okay, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, volunteerly. <laughs> Yesterday, um, uh, uh, was was go says says is free verdad i went i went okay when when go a uh, uh, restaurant um 
en el lago de en la Laguna Verde. Alegría. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Eh, the uh, we were sharing promptly, o sea, strongly agree. Mm -hmm. uh, the server was the, to take the order very quickly, not quickly, very quick, quickly, and uh, strongly agree. Uh, the server was feeling a uh, passion when taking our, our order. Uh, strongly agree. Mm -hmm. Uh, our server coordinate the time and the dishes perfect, perfectly. Uh, uh, this is point uh, for me disagree. Disagree. <laughs> sí. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, our server coordinate the, uh, no, the server was able to answer our our question. Yes, yes, agree. Mm -hmm. uh, the Muchos de los de los de los platos se dice teacher. Many of the dishes. Many of the, the dishes uh, mm -hmm. is is no disponible. Wasn't available. Uh, uh, no, no not available. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for uh, Ya había pasado el almuerzo. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was too late. Okay, sí. Eh, y había poca opción. Po, eh, many options. No, no few, sería many. Few options. Few, 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 oh, few options. Few okay. Eh, the server was able, eh, no, overall the service was excellent. Eh, yes, o sea, agree. Mm -hmm. Because everything our dining experience was a good one. Yes, uh, the look, uh, vista es una the vista. View. View. Mm -hmm. The view is be be beautiful view. Mm -hmm. uh, city, the city, the um, Aguachapan. Uh, other uh, side, el, 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 la Laguna Verde. Is so that was in Aguachapan. Yep. Ah, nice. So I thought it was alegría. Alegría is in Usultan. Usultan. Mm -hmm. La Laguna Verde, creo que no sé si es ahí. No. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yo conozco esa como la Laguna Verde. Yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe another. Another lagoon. <laughs> okay. Well, at least. Their man was happy with the service. Okay, <laughs> let's see the second attendance as soon as possible. Let me see. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present teacher. Christy. Present. Elsie. Present teacher. Hi. Fatima. Present teacher. Perman. Hector. Isabel. Present teacher. Present. Catherine. Present teacher. Present. Mayra. Present. Present. Nuri. Present teacher. <laughs> Roberto. Samuel. Present. Vitalia. Walter, Wendy, present right. teacher, present teacher, all right, and Ir. present teacher, nice, all right, just for fun, <laughs> how much vocabulary do you know about food? Let me see. Okay, here we go. I know this is just a very simple game, but just to see how much vocabulary we have. You have to tell me quickly, okay? Uh -huh. Potatoes. Potatoes. 
Portanto, é isso. Tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes. 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 Tomatoes or tomatoes is the same. Ah, okay. I'm just kidding. Pasta. Macaroon. Cereal. 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 Milk. Milk. Rice. Rice. rice, like Chinese rice. White rice. Mm -hmm. Apples. That was the easiest game and ever. The last <laughs> one is a bean. 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 Red beans. Red Sangre bean. de toro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Easy peasy, right? Super easy, I know. Okay, but our manual requires a lot more, okay? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. This one, yes. All right, this is just a brief discussion. Our satisfaction survey a good way to make sure procedures are followed in a restaurant. Do you consider placing posters about procedures in the strategic places? Will help employees follow those procedures. Okay, so son dos preguntas donde ustedes deben expresar su opinión. La primera les pregunta en qué sí la service, si la service de satisfacción son una buena forma de asegurarse que los procedimientos se sigan en un restaurante. Yes or no? Y ustedes dicen por qué. Y la otra es, do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow these procedures? Que si el hecho, ok, si ustedes consideran que el hecho de poner posters con los procedimientos en lugares estratégicos ayuda a que los empleados realmente sigan los procedimientos. O sea, consideran ustedes que el hecho de tener ahí el recordatorio visual de los procedimientos funciona para que los empleados realmente lo sigan. Entonces van a tratar de expresar su opinión, obviously in English. And then share with your partner, right? So, our satisfaction survey a good way to make sure the procedures are followed in a restaurant. The, I consider satisfaction surveys are necessary, are important, are useful because if the employees receive the feedbacks or comments, they can always try to improve, blah, blah, blah. Yeah? Lo mismo en el otro. Yeah, I think it is important to have the reminder of the correct way to do the things or the procedures on a visible place so that they, if they forget one procedure, they can check and continue doing the way they are supposed to do. Que eso es obviamente una opinión propia. La pueden escribir en una o dos oraciones y luego compartirla con su partner. ¿Ok? Sí, voy a dar todo este minuto para que lo hagan y luego lo compartamos con sus compañeros. Vamos a crear new groups. And you can share your opinion. Obviamente es una opinión personal, no es que hasta que lleguen al grupo la van a hacer. La tienen que hacer ahorita de forma individual, después decírsela a su partner, lo que ustedes consideran.
questions? Yes, sir. No, carnival, carnival. <laughs> <laughs> 22 uh, November. Oh. 20, 21 November. 21. Yes. Invite us. But all the days are parties. <laughs> the we are dan dan dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yo, yeah. yo, creí, yo creí que le estaba preguntando a Fátima que cómo estaba el clima allá. No, aquí está lloviendo fuertísimo. Yo voy a subir. No hay los audífonos ahorita. Me levanté a buscarlos, pero no los encuentro. Okay. Ya, ya puse todo el volumen para para. Here, yes, it is raining heavy, a heavy raining here right now. Okay. Wow. When do you leave? San Miguel. De hecho, sí, en Belice dicen que está, pero terrible ahorita la situación con el nuevo huracán. Ay, sí. no. Ay, primero Dios que no. Más que San Miguel, el problema del, del río, que es que se desborda. Sí, causa bastante daño. Sí. Ojalá que no, ¿verdad? Primero vez que no. Exactly. Bueno, vamos entonces a ver las preguntas o las o el análisis que vamos a hacer. No sé si there is in the WhatsApp right now, teacher, the question that we have to answer. No, I can share the question right now. Don't worry. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. In the one I consider very important. Um, I think it is important because it helps improve customer service and improving the quality of food. Um, I think. Thank you. 
si son los ¿Qué manda? Si son las encuestas de satisfacción, una buena forma de que, que se sigan los procedimientos en el restaurante. Ajá. Yo diría que sí. Porque así se, se nos da a conocer la insatisfacción del cliente. Ajá, yo, yo decía que lo, lo, lo contrario. Porque como las encuestas, miren el impacto, a mí, para mí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Miren el impacto, pero de, digamos, como, como ya de, de la totalidad de la, de, de cómo se llama, del servicio. O sea, si les gustó el plato, si les gustó el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El trato, cosas así. Pero no necesariamente eso va a indicar un buen procedimiento o que se están haciendo los procedimientos. O sea, es una forma, sería una forma para mí indirecta de medir. Y no daría un resultado, digamos, como confiable. Para mí la encuesta no serviría para medir el, si están aplicando los procedimientos. No, no, no sería la, la, la forma correcta entonces de... Ajá, no, es lo que yo pienso porque eh, a mí me acuerdo una vez que me mandaron a hacer encuestas este, y no, las preguntas casi siempre son bien son bien diferentes Ajá. Eh, y no, no pueden decirle a usted que si se está aplicando bien una, una política o algo así es lo que lo que eh, pienso ajá, pero sí podri, se podría tomar en cuenta en el que un cliente se queje sobre, sobre el servicio o sobre algún otro aspecto que por ejemplo si el lugar está desordenado no se ha limpiado ¿okay? esas sí son ah, cosas bueno. que se deben tomar en cuenta ¿verdad? Tiene mucha razón, fíjese. Entonces yo creo que ahí cambia un poco mi respuesta y diría que también depende de las preguntas que se hagan. Ajá. Y también de lo que se quiera medir. Porque sí, en ese sentido sí puede usted tener alguna información, por ejemplo, pero no como encuesta, sino que más... Ajá. Otro, sí, una, una, una encuesta. Eh, se ha fijado que cuando uno va a, creo que el Wendy es que le dan el recibo. Not feel such as answer real. O sea, eh, usted le da una encuesta de satisfacción a, a un cliente o a un este, empleado, eh, no lo suelen llenar como digamos a conciencia <ríe> o con datos reales, lo hacen como por a veces por salir o por ganarse el panquecito o por reclamar alguna cosa. O sea, no es, para mí no es un, 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 un método confiable. De medición. Okay. O sea. Mm -hmm. okay. Isabel. I see you. Hello. <laughs> I think um, the certification service are a good way to make and make fun of to see. For example, if you don't remember what about the procedure is, uh, you need uh, something to, to remind you the procedure that the, in that place you have to follow. In that, mm -hmm. in that case, I consider that it's important. For example, uh, yes. Uh, in different places, strategic places, could be help to the employees follow those procedures that that enterprise has. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, how are you? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we finished. Really. Yeah. Oh my God, that was pretty fast. It's, it's easy. I when know, Adriana, you're Christina, very critical to evaluate. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it's easy when Christina and Adriana enjoy yeah. it. And Mayra. And Mayra, they coordinate their ideas very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so agree, disagree. Are they a good way to, of measuring or evaluating? In the first point, all agree. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it's necessary to know what the customer think about our procedures, mm -hmm. about our uh, about our kind of serve about uh -huh. uh, in the in the in the case of restaurant for example and uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, the the quality of our dishes or for food uh -huh. the time etc 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 and uh, we apply in our works uh -huh. and we still uh, agree this is an important thing to, to know all right and in the second uh, we have a, a little discussion uh -huh. uh, about this what happened with uh, with the personal? Mm -hmm. For example, Christina said, "Depend the kind of work mm -hmm. a worker," mm -hmm. and Adriana said, "Depend of the culture of the of the job organizational mm -hmm. culture." Mm -hmm. Then we and we mix both uh, both um, opinions. Views. opinions Mm -hmm. And we make our 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 own opinion, and mm -hmm. we agree that's the great way to know what we have to do in different moment or in a different machine or different place in our work. Mm -hmm. All right. Then uh, that's the bold answer of the question. All right, great, good. Thanks for reporting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, see you. Okay. Not everybody back yet. No. <laughs> no, they missing a lot of. Yeah, they partners. are still discussing, probably. <laughs> oh, they're mm. coming. All right. Okay. All right, we're going to move on to the next lesson. Yes, definitely. This is part of building the vocabulary. I think if you use a dictionary, it would be very easy to find the meaning of these words. But just for you to make sure that you get this on your manual, it's right here. Let me scroll down. So it's the following page. This is on page 24. And the first thing is to look for a definition, okay? Definition of dispenser, dirt, designated, sink, and throwing. Maybe you already know the meaning, okay? Of at least one, two, or three words. And you can write only a synonym or a similar word of definition or you can find a picture or you can get a meaning or a definition exactly as the dictionaries usually present let me stop sharing i'm gonna give you three minutes try to find the definition you can use any online dictionary it's perfectly fine. I recommend you to use Cambridge. Cambridge is pretty good. You just write Cambridge Dictionary and then you have an online dictionary. All right. What's the first word? Dispenser, right? So in the searcher from Cambridge, you write this answer. And then you have a definition. And you even have the pronunciation. 
you have. Uh huh. Anybody found the definition? Not yet. A uh, machine or container that you can get something from. Exactly. A machine or a container that you can get something from. For example, with the pandemic, everywhere there were these alcohol dispensers, right? <laughs> or soap dispensers, right? So you could get something from, okay? Or you can have any other machine where you can get things from. The famous... I don't know if those are called, no, but actually in some places you have these machines where you can get the soda. Uh, soda, snacks, but these are called vending machines because you have to put a coin. <laughs> yes, but there are some other products. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Like in restaurants, so you can get uh, the refill, so you can get from machines, right? So they get, uh huh iced tea or soda right to be a dispenser okay all right next one What's the next word mm -hmm. dirt dirt what's the meaning of dirt dirt dancing <laughs> very <Dirty> dance. <laughs> uh-huh Ah. <laughs> there is is a uh, contrary se dice teacher against no uh -huh. es contra the opposite opposite of the clean no uh -huh. so look at clean is an adjective in dirt si quiere uh -huh, hacer el opposite del adjective como algo que está clean algo que está dirty ahí sí sería con y pero aquí no tiene y solo es dirt Dirt. Uh -huh. Obviamente sí está ah, es suciedad. Este es un noun y sucio es dirty. Y similar eh, land. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dust, soil, or any substance that makes a surface not clean. That makes a, that makes a surface dirty. That's dirt. Yeah. Teacher. Uh -huh. My favorite book uh, is uh, Harry Potter, mm -hmm. and uh, in in this book I talk about mud blood. Uh, in in Spanish, it's sangre sucia. <laughs> and then, and, then, and then, aquí cuando veo busco la uh, when I search the definition, the meaning is a uh, substance uh, such as mud or dust. Exactly. It's it's um. Ajá, a eso se, se, se asocia la suciedad, el dirt, a mud, yeah. dust, ok. For example, mm -hmm. in a restaurant, if, let's say, es el, el ejemplo más dirty que I have found probably in a restaurant, porque nosotros estamos hablando de restaurant procedures, right? Si los waiters o los chefs andan, Algo en las uñas, ellos andan que dirt. dirt. Entonces, eso es dirt. <ríe> en este contexto, obviamente, ¿verdad? Pero obviamente. En Netflix, uh, eh, there is a eh, reportaje. What is? ¿Cómo, cómo se dice? A reportaje, a review, the news, review? a documentary. Dirty money. <ríe> ah, yes. Definitely. Y así como existe dirty money, también existe wash money. <laughs> or money ah, wash. Okay. <laughs> And some knows about that. <laughs> the correct pronunciation is dirty or dirty? Dirt. Dirt. dirt, es dirt? La sociedad. Dirt. El dirty oh. es el adjetivo, algo sucio. Ok. Uh -huh. Por eso lo yes. dirty dance. In some restaurant, use a uh, net. Net. They oh, must. Say. That's part of the procedure. Oh. A net. Oh, ¿Cómo se llama el nombre? Net. Net. Like internet. Or, or head. Or head. Head net. Oh. 
a high health net mm -hmm. for no no uh, fine uh, little little hair. Dirty hair in the food, mm -hmm. right? In the food. Mm -hmm. They also wear gloves, cooking gloves. Gloves, uh -huh. latex gloves. Yeah, sometimes cooking gloves. They are kind of plastic, right? Mm -hmm. It depends also the kind of food because some of the of the cooks or chef they do need this kind of gloves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, the next word. The next is the sig. No, I I, know, I can't pronounce it. Designated. Mm -hmm. Let me search. Es lo mismo, como en español. <risa> Ajá. I found is traditionally the president designated his or her su successor. No sé si se dice así. Yeah. Ajá, ese es el, el, el example que ellos dan, pero el meaning. Ah, es... ah, ok, ok, ok. To choose, to choose someone officially to do a particular job. Mm -hmm. Es lo mismo que en español, es designar. To okay. choose someone officially to do a particular job, right? They say, oh, I designate this and this and this person to do this and this and this task, right? Mm -hmm. This person is for salad, this for uh, pasta, this for dishwasher. So to attend these tables or to be, uh, attending this, uh, these orders, or you can also designate a place for things. Mm -hmm. You say, I'm going to designate these two tables for the main entrance or for this and this uh, purpose. You are designating the washing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest job. In some restaurant have a captain, uh, the waiters, Mm -hmm. Captain for waiters is the right. master of right. uh, the, the top of the of the waiters, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there there are like different kind of ranks, right? So that they follow the procedures correctly. All right, the next one. The sink. That's an easy one. <clears throat> sink. Mm -hmm. Uh. Say go down below. Como en el Titanic, descendió. Ah, <ríe> Pero ese ah, es el contexto de como verbo. Tienen que buscarlo como now. Ok. Uh -huh. Tú, eh, entre paréntesis, how do you say entre paréntesis? Paréntesis, in paréntesis. In paréntesis. Uh -huh. Cause something or so. Uh, someone who uh, go down below the surface or to the bottom of a liquid or soft substance. Sí, es el, el meaning de sink como verbo, causar que algo se hunda o se sumerja. Pero busquenlo como noun. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. Scroll uh, down. down plata, uh -huh. A bowl that is attached to the wall in a kitchen or a bathroom in which you wash dishes or you wash hands. Just a home sink. Lava mano o lava plata. Obviamente, el, el meaning de hundirse como el Titanic no creo que esté relacionado con la kitchen, ¿verdad? No se puede. Ajá. Obviamente las palabras tienen sus funciones. La misma palabra puede ser un verbo o puede ser un noun. A veces puede. Obviamente la función es diferente. Lo mismo, sync. Sync. Uh -huh. Y cantar. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Sync. Con sync. G. Ah, sync. <ríe> y también está think. Y piel teacher. Skin. Skin, nothing. No, no tiene nada que ver. <ríe> Parecido, tiene como unos dos sonidos iguales en skin. Skin care. Uh -huh. El inglés es una maravilla, la verdad. 
<laughs> you said it. I hate it. <laughs> you didn't know that. Yeah, right. Because the only thing you can No, de verdad que me interesante. Sí, sí. Es como un juego de palabras, no les pasa que están como pensando en una cosa y dicen, no, pero me parece que es muy parecido a la otra palabra que no. Sí, it happens. Eso les tengo buenas noticias, creo que siempre lo digo. Hay un estudio que revela que las personas que aprenden, o que al menos estudian uno u otro idioma, tienen muchas menos probabilidades de desarrollar Alzheimer. Por el juego mental que están haciendo siempre de la idea de no, de de... no desarrollar ah, ok no voy a dejar de aprender <ríe> ahorita me retiro <ríe> it was a pleasure staying with our Bye. podcast <ríe> my last night you know another language teacher yeah uh, which one I was learning, well, these are my intentos, you know. <laughs> I have made so many attempts to learn Mandarin. I failed. Mm -hmm. Mandarin is too difficult because we don't have <laughs> the yeah. similar <laughs> alphabetical, you know. So it, it was too hard for me to study because nothing is written in our alphabet. Nothing. So it's only wow. hieroglyphics and characters. And Mandarin. they have like 40 variations because Mandarin is the modern version of the Chinese language. So mm. I just know me how <laughs> to go and how. <laughs> then I learned French at the university and I'm learning Italian. Oh, Italian. Mm -hmm. Good. Hermano, you're going to be solo con la clase. Parle più le parole. Io parlo. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting. Actually, I got inspired because I saw videos in Italian and I said, well, wow, that sounds really cool. <laughs> and then I'm yes. learning. I'm teaching myself. It's nice Italian. I like to. Yeah, the, the accents were good. Well, French was really good and really fun at the time I was learning, but then I stopped practicing. I understand a few words and I can say a few things still. <laughs> All right. Good. The last word, which was the last word? Throwly. Oh, that's a very difficult word, if you ask me. Y pero muy interesante esa palabra también. ¿Ya la encontraron? No. Let's check. PH? Yes, yes pero... R-O-U. <laughs> Usted dijo que lo buscáramos como qué? Como, porque me parece como adverb. Es que... Sí, este sí es un adverb. Ok. Uh -huh. Completely, completely, very much. Mm -hmm. Completely. Complex. Es lo que significa? Completely. Complex. Thoroughly. Complex. Quiero ver, la primera dispenser es un noun. There también es un noun. Designated es un adjective o a verb. Think es un noun. Thoroughly es un adverb. Mm -hmm. Completely, thoroughly. And the pronunciation is interesting too. Thoroughly. Como dice teacher? Thoroughly. Thoroughly. And it's come totally. But the spelling is bien. Thoroughly. Yeah, interesting. It's like uh, when you do something very carefully, very. Uh, softly and completely minuciosamente mm, for exactly for example you say oh you have to wash those dishes thoroughly so you have mm -hmm. to wash them until they are really clean yes or you have to clean the kitchen you have to clean it thoroughly yeah so like detail by detail completely all right Bueno, ya buscamos el mini. Espero, déjenme compartir. Let me share the screen. And. Go. We found. Veamos. 
dispenser. Somebody can dictate to me. Fill mm -hmm. dispenser with the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> A machine. ¿Se encontraron? ¿Alguien que me dicte, please? A machine or container. Uh -huh. A machine or container. From which you can get something. Okay. You can get something such as drinks or money. Uh -huh. Ajá, por ejemplo, los ATM es un machine que dispensa dinero if you have of course in your account. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a machine or container from which you can get something. All right, such as liquid or money. There, dirt. Uh huh. Where in dirt? Dirt, soil or mud. Soil or mud. Mm -hmm. Oh, teacher. For example, children playing in the dirt. Uh huh. Soil. Soil or mud. <laughs> if you have a dirty soil, <laughs> not soul. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Será infierno. Hell. Soul. Hell. Ah, hell. Soul is el alma. Ah. Uh -huh. Even uh -huh. soil or dust, también considerado. Uh, or mud. For example, mm -hmm. yeah, children play in dirt. dirt. Play in the dirt. A los niños les gusta jugar en el sol, en la tierra. That's a good example. Mm -hmm. Designated. To formally choose people, mm -hmm. someone or something. For mm -hmm. a particular purpose. For a particular purpose. All right. Designated. Como cuando el president designa a un ministro ahora. To be minister. O alguien para alguna función oficial internacional. The sink. That's a noun. Lavabo. Uh -huh. Recipient for, for wash. Uh -huh. For washing. Dishes. Maybe dish or hand. Uh -huh. And throwing. Washing. <laughs> Excuse me. For mad people. <laughs> Porque dice minuciosamente, me, me traduce a mí. Ok, fully. Very, very carefully. Fully, very carefully. So that nothing is missing. Uh -huh. So that nothing is missing. Right. Mm -hmm. Minuciosamente, completamente, meticulosamente. Yes. All right, that could be. Cool. Done. Ya tenía las, las, las definition? Everybody, go oh, get a screenshot. Y después la pegan. <laughs> Copy, please. 
And the last one, teacher, is yes. so that nothing is missing. Missed. With ED. ED. Like this. Yes. Number four, I think, I for washing. Uh, le falta, ¿cómo se dice? You're missing. You're missing is washing. For washing. A recipient for washing the S. Yes. I just do. Yo creo que si le doy un clic ahí, se activa otra vez. Sí, pero me pone otra, otra. Ah. Ajá. Aquí me voy a poner tu barrio. <ríe> y vamos a crosta o esta, quiero ver qué podemos hacer. Ah, ya sé. Por watch. Maida had an emergency in her house, so she won't be connected. That's great. All right. Can I erase? Yes. All right. Good. Okay. Are procedures posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? ¿Se recuerdan de la segunda pregunta que discutimos? Que si es una buena idea obtener como los, dis, los posters display de lo que tienen que, que seguir o los pasos que se tienen que decir para los procesos. Ahora les preguntan si, if you have these uh, posters displayed in some areas of your workplace. No sé, si, obviamente en todas las las industrias o los diferentes tipos de compañía tienen como este tipo de posters. Pero sí he visto en caso de, de los procedures de emergency, por ejemplo, si tienen algunos como los pasos a seguir, por ejemplo, para los, um, ¿cómo se llaman los fire extinguishers? In the bathroom. Mm -hmm. The instruction is, uh, 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 instruction? <laughs> instruction for wa the washing the hands. Exactly. De hecho, justamente estaba pensando en eso por lo de la pandemia. Muchas you should microphone. Uh -huh. Many people have like this instructions, right? Display or a poster on a visible place. Our so, procedure posters display in some areas in your workplace. Look at the checklist below designated to verify the steps of the hand washing procedures. Exactamente. Esto es justamente para hand washing procedure. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure and why? The policy, all check. Esto es como un reminder y que lo tienen que seguir, pues, porque obviamente están preparing food and hand washing procedures, it's mandatory. So all chefs and servers will follow proper hand washing procedure. The first one, wash his hands using soap from soap dispenser. Uses brush to remove the dirt from under fingernails. Let me see those nails, right? Use soap between fingers and on hands thoroughly. Washes hands and sinks from production area and dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. Estos son como los pasos a seguir para los chefs y los servers, obviamente, antes de manipular cualquier food, cualquier cosa que haya en la kitchen, okay? Veamos, vamos a hacer una mini practice solo de leer los procedures, ¿ok? Tenemos que hacer nada más, más que leerlos, ¿ok? So, in your group, hasta que todos hayan pasado de leerlos, ya, yeah, that's it, ¿ok? And, of course, if you don't understand what something means, you can ask, right? And you can tell your partner. 
But the idea is that everybody reads the instructions, okay? Then they de leerlos, obviously, the best way possible, right? See? To read the sentence. We we just have to read the sentence. I I I understand. Okay. Uh, policy uh all chef and server will follow proper hand washing procedures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh who the start? Who start? <laughs> Nuri. It's me. Okay. Okay. Wash his hand using soap from soap dispenser. Use brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. Use soap between fingers and and on hands thoroughly. Wash his hands and sink from production area. Dry hands with a mechanical hot dryer. Mechanical, ¿cómo sería? Mechanical. Mechanical? Mechanical. Mechanical, okay. Dry, dry hands with a mechanical hot dryer. Okay. Now, uh, Ferma, yeah, <laughs> <It's> your turn. <laughs> I wash, uh, dice, wash his hand using soap. Uh, yeah, se me olvidó si es soap o si soap oh, from soap, soap dispenser. Soap. Mm -hmm. soap, uh, use brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. Use soap between finger <laughs> and on hands. Thoroughly, creo que sí, dijo la teacher que se sí. decía. Thoroughly, okay. thoroughly. <laughs> Washes hand in six from production area. Dries hand with a mechanical, mechanical hot dryer. Thoroughly. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. Wash it hand and sink from production area. Dry, o como se pronuncia? Dry? Dry. Dry hand with a, me, a, mechan, a mechanic or mechanic? Mechanical. Mechanical hot dry. Hot dry. Uh -huh. Hot dry. Good. Dry hand with a mechanical hot dry. Throw. Dry hands, uh -huh. hands with a mechanical hot dry. Hand with a mechanical hot dry. Hot dry. Very good. Truly, esa es la que no puedo pronunciar. Ajá, uh -huh, que es, es like a... T es, es como una... Teletrámela. No, you know, teacher, like, truly is, is like a Z. Yes, una Z. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. Yes. Yeah. Thoroughly. Okay. Si estuviera diciendo Z. Thoroughly. 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 Z. R. U. Thoroughly. Ah. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. 
truly. Sí. ¿Lo practicamos nuevamente? Sí, dale okay. tú. Ok. Policy. All chefs and servers will follow proper hand washing procedures. Number one. Wash your hands using soap from soap dispenser. Hands. Use a brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. Wash your hands using soap from soap dispenser. Uh -huh. Ahora, otra vez y comienza usted. Vaya, para arriba para abajo. Wash your hands. Using soap from soap dispenser. Uses brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. Uses soap between fingers and on hand truly. Yeah. <coughs> Watches hands in synchron production area. Dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. Dryer. Dryers. Watches hands using soap from soap, soap dispenser. Uses brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. Uses soap between finger and on hands to release. Wash your hand in sink from production. All right, done. How did it go? You good? No bad? All right. Last attendance, Adriana. Present. Thank you. Carlos. Not yet. It hasn't returned yet. Oh yes, must have. <laughs> All right. Christy. Present. Elsie. Fatima. Present. Present, Present teacher. Hi. Carlos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Present teacher. All right, thank you, Hector. Present. Isabel. Present. Thank you. Catherine. Present. Lucy. Present. All right. Essential 101. Are you able to, Lucy? Yes. All right. Good. Okay. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present. Teacher. Okay. Roberto. No. Not today. Sam. Present. Vitelia. Present. Walter. Present. Wendy. And Irma. I am here, teacher. Hey. Present, teacher. Thank you. Well, have a good night. Have a wonderful night. Rest. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you, tomorrow. Thank you teacher. Bye. 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 Tomorrow is Friday, remember. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Short week. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. How has it been? Very busy? Very, very busy, a little tired, and okay. I want to apologize because I don't participate too much the last night because um, and at the least of the month, the, the activities, it, it increased in, in my company True. where I work. <laughs> and you're still at work? No, at this time, no, but... Um, 
uh, some activities, some tasks I need to um, finish in my home. Oh, really? You take yes. work? Yes, I, I take work from my home and I finish some um, late. True, because at this time to be doing something from work, it's really late. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's all it's right. A, it's a little difficult, but I I want to thank you um, because I am listening and, and that is very useful for me and, and my vocabulary. I okay. know, you're still improving. <laughs> yes, really... I, I try I try to, to repeat and listen because I forget I forgot some pronunciation about sure. the about the te technical words. Right. But I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, this this well, this module has been just about restaurants, you know, and procedures at a restaurant. Yes, and that's true. It's quite interesting because probably we don't stop to think about the procedures and the things yes. that people working in that environment have to follow. But it's it's very it's very interesting because uh, it are very technical words and right. phrases. Yeah, I, and, didn't, and some, I didn't know. <laughs> mm -hmm, and some of those phrases and vocabulary. Yes. And the procedures are also adaptable to other type of jobs as well. That's right? true. That's mm -hmm. true, very true. All right. Is there anything I can help you with? Um I think um at this time I need to practice. I need I mean I need to read read a, some of your the exercise you share. But um I think all the information is very clear for me because um I understand um some of the the exercises but um something alguna veces some sometimes. Some, sometimes i i i don't participate a lot because the the partners uh, talk in spanish a lot <laughs> <laughs> and i try to practice because in my environment in my work i i can um speak in english and that is my it's my como challenge. weak point. Yeah. I my challenge, challenge or, or my weak point. But right. I I want sometimes I want to talk with Samuel, for example, or with um, ay, el otro compañero, with Hector. other part, Hector, or or the other one is I I don't I don't Fernan remember. Fernando and Carlos also they also try to speak English. One one time. of the newest, one of the oh, newest. Oh yes, Walter. Walter, Walter, yeah. he he speak very good the, the English, and that is very useful for me because we we practice. Yeah, you but, can establish something. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and and he, I I like the way he correct some mm -hmm. pronunciations. True, true. And, they, and he try to to help mm -hmm. at right? all times. But, yes, true. yes, mm -hmm. but. Nice. And what about the platform? How are you doing on the platform? Oh, I'm very <laughs> honest. <laughs> and I need to I need to complete some homework, but I will tonight. All right. Will, yeah. yeah, and if not possible, at least on this weekend. Ah, okay. Yeah, try to do it on this weekend because we are almost finishing. Yeah, we finished practically unit two, so. It would be a good idea to finish all the assignments from unit okay. two. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Thank you so much, teacher. Bye, -bye. anytime. Okay. Okay, have a good night. You too. Enjoy. See you tomorrow. You. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Anytime. See you. Bye. -bye.